Okay, so we have now managed to aggregate our point data to the grid IDs of our half degree aggregation grid. And now we're going to continue with some work in Excel. Notice where we are. We're going to paste into Excel this data set. We're going to call it original. There it goes. We can get rid of the first column, which is inserted by QGIS and doesn't particular, uh, particularly help us. And now we have our timestamp. We have our species. Both of those are from the original data set. And we have the ID number of the grid cells in the coarse-grained aggregation grid. And we're going to call this original. And then we're going to create a second sheet, which will be working. And you remember that we never change our original data so that we can always backtrack if necessary. So now we have a copy that we can work with. And we will insert a column called dummy, which is simply full of ones so that we can do calculations and summaries. Okay, there's working. Let's go back to the protocol. In working, reduce to three columns, add a column, we've done that. So now we want to estimate, estimate n, which we will do uh, using a pivot table. So I'm going to highlight the whole area in working, data, Pivot table, sometimes pivot table is under insert in other versions of Excel. So here we go. I'm going to put it in a new sheet. I'm going to bring the grid ID down to here and the dummy down to here. So you can see we have the grid ID from our aggregation grid and we have the sum of our marker dummy. And that gives us exactly what we wanted, which are uh, sample sizes per grid cell. We paste that into a new table, which we will call summary. We can change this to grid ID and N. And now we have our first piece of the picture, which is the sample size for each grid cell in our map. 